I am Gene Felder. I'm the Corporate Product Manager of Desco Industries, and we're doing a series of video clips on ESD control. Uh, today we want to answer the question, uh, how does one ground an insulator? What we're going to do with these video clips, if you go to DescoIndustries.com, you see there the brand that you purchase, and go to that website, uh, and under the ESD information tab, we'll be having these video clips that you can look at. Uh, what I have here are training paddles. One is a, uh, an insulator, acrylic plastic. The other one, the handle, is acrylic pa uh, plastic, but we have an isolated conductor, a piece of aluminum on it. And uh, as I say, how do you uh, ground uh, an insulator? The, an the answer is you cannot ground an insulator. It's a little bit easier if you look at the metal as a conductor and as the plastic as a non-conductor. And the uh, uh, items that are dissipative, another word we use in ESD control, dissipative or conductive, is you can ground and remove electrostatic charges to ground. A non-conductor, electrons, electricity does not move freely. We draw the line uh, at a certain point where we call the, the, uh, the item insulative and it does not ground. And so let's see if we can demonstrate this. Tribal charging is contact and separation that uh, generates electrostatic charges. And we have an a, a electrostatic field meter here. So here we have like about 2,000 volts on the conductor. And over here we have uh, three or 4,000 volts. Let me try that again. Three or 4,000 volts on the insulator. So let's see if the, uh, the charge is still here. No, it's been removed. So let me demonstrate that uh, uh, charges can be removed from a conductor. Here I have uh, several thousand volts. I put it on a, uh, a grounded, I have a ground wire over here, ESD mat, take it off, and basically all the charge is removed. While we've been doing all that, we still have our uh, non-conductor, and I bet it still has quite a charge on it. There it is, three or four thousand volts. I do exactly the same thing to the non-conductor, to the insulator. I put it on an ESD mat that's grounded, and there we have three or four thousand volts still on it. Uh, insulators for ESD control are bad news. Conductors, dissipative conductor, if you have it grounded, you can remove electrostatic charges to ground. So let's make sure we um, have the uh, charge off of this. So the conductor, this is an isolated conductor, the charge is, is, uh, is gone. I'm going to just put it in proximity. This is inducing a charge. The, uh, the insulator has a big charge on it, even though we've just removed the charge from the conductor. Here I have it in close proximity, it's not touching, and let's see if a charge has been induced on it. So we have over a thousand volts on that. Uh, we just removed the charge, and because there was a charge on a, uh, in the presence of a charge, we had induction, we induced a charge onto it. Worse than that is if we ground uh, the, uh, the conductor in the presence of a charge, instead of removing the charge, we will gain a charge. So let's try this again. We've got the conductor. We can remove a charge, but if we do it in the presence of a, uh, of a charge, boom, there we got 600, 700 volts, uh, 600 volts that are, uh, that are on it. So insulators are bad to have in your ESD protected area because they cannot be grounded. What can you do with it? Well, basically, get rid of it. Whatever the item is, remove it from the ESD protected area. We do have a product uh, that we sell called Topical Anti-Step. The, the, uh, uh, the item that you have can temporarily be uh, made dissipated and, and low charging anti-static by applying uh, this liquid onto the uh, surface. Uh, the topical anti-stat will wear off over time depending on how much it is handled. The other thing you can do is to replace your insulative version of whatever the item is in your production facility with an ESD protective version. So like, for example, this matting, most matting are insulative. But this is a stat-free T2 mat that we sell. Replace your insulative mat 
with a uh, ESD protective mat. You can do that with things like document holders, loose leaf binders. We have a whole range of products that we sell. So if you can remove it, if you don't want to treat it with topical anti-stat, uh, you can get an ESD protective version. If you can't do any of those, what can you do? The only tool to deal with electrostatic charges on non-conductors, on insulators, is neutralizing the charge using ionizers. So that's what we have uh, for today. Going over materials, what is conductive and what is non-conductive, also called an insulator. Thanks very much.